Welcome to Living Notes, and today we're talking about the Stoka Trails. I'll be showing the trail's terrain model. First off, the Stoka Trails uses the same seat as the Explory, so it has the same large canopy with the pull-out sun visor to give additional protection from the sun. And all the fabrics are UPF 50 and weather resistant, as well as machine washable. Now the back of the canopy has the same zip-out ventilation window for added circulation during warmer months. It's easy to pull back and expose. It also has this placed at the back which prevents direct airflow into the baby's face. Now the seat itself is very nice and comfortable for the child and it does come with an additional insert to use when the child is a newborn through about a year. There's ample room for the baby to grow and as well as it has the five point harness which is adjustable to grow and fit the child. The, the bumper bar here is also removable, so it's easy to remove to place the child in, put back on. The footrest on the seat as well is adjustable, and it is a one-hand adjustment to adjust to fit those growing feet. Now, moving on to the handlebar, you will see that the handlebar is ergonomically designed, and it can be adjusted to fit the height of the parent. There are three positions for use, a high, a mid, and a finally a lower position. There is also a cup holder here on the side to attach the Stoka cup holder if desired. The other nice feature with the trails is its oversized basket. It does have a waterproof bottom to prevent from splashing, and since there's no bars underneath, it allows for some good storage room into the basket as well. Now since this is the terrain model, the wheels are air filled and very large, and which provides a nice and easy ride. The, tra the trails also has a good built-in suspension, which allows for a nice and smooth ride both in the city and on, and on the park trails. Now the trails offers three positions for recline in parent facing mode. First you have your active position, second it's going to be a resting position, finally the sleeping position. It is in this position that the seat is certified to use from birth with the newborn insert placed in the seat. Now as we switch the seat here over to forward facing, we'll be able to show the final two reclining positions. Now we just release the seat, snap it into place. Okay, now there are the two positions here. First you have your active position sitting fully upright and second a resting position. Turning around the stroller here, you'll see the foot brake. It is easy to access, simply push it down to lock into place, pull up to release. And for everyday strolling, the Trails has a very light and easy feel to it. It's very agile to turn and maneuver wherever your, your uh, travels will take you. All right, now we're gonna move on to the next feature of the Trails, which is the newborn carry cot. Simply remove the seat and we'll be able to place the carry cot here. The carry cot is one of the nicest accessories that Stoka provides. It offers an ideal environment to push a newborn in. Now on the carry cot, the canopy is nice and large. It provides ample protection from the sun. It also has the pull-out visor um, on it. The zip-out ventilation is located all the way at the back of the canopy to allow the airflow to be away from the newborn's face so that it doesn't interfere with breathing at all. There are also ventilation slots underneath the bassinet here, both at the front, right here, as well as at the back, allowing for nice and easy airflow. All right, the interior provides a nice padded mattress and aligned interior for comfort and protection from all the elements. The top zips away and you have these nice carry handles which are easy to access and to carry the carry cut when it is not attached to the stroller. It really is a nice accessory, provides the best way to push your newborn in comfort and safety while you're out on the go. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and move on to folding the trails. To fold the trails, the first thing you're going to do, whether you're using the carry cot or the seat, is to remove the seat from the frame and set aside. The first step to folding the frame is to rotate the handlebar to the frame and push down to meet the frame. 
Then push and pull the levers on the handles to unlock the back wheels. Simply pull up on the frame, allow the wheels to meet in front, and then you can lay down the frame. It's not going to lock, so just allow the wheels to come forward. And then you can place it in the vehicle um, or uh, in the house at this point. The final step, place the carry cot or the seat on top of the frame. And when using the seat, you can remove the bumper bar and the footrest to condense it even further. The wheels uh, on the frame are also very easy to remove. This will condense the stroller down even further and make it uh, more compact for storage. Okay, now unfolding this, the trails is simply the reverse of the folding process. First we're going to assemble the seat, putting the footrest back on, attaching the bumper bar, and setting that aside. Then we're going to lift up on the frame. I'm going to go ahead and let the wheels lock back into place. Push and release the handlebar. Pull it up to get it into the position. I'm going to adjust the hand grip as necessary. And finally, we're going to place the seat or the carry cot back onto the frame and you're good to go. All right, well, that's our overview of the trails today. It's an ideal stroller for all-terrain use and utility. Be sure to check out more at living-notes.com as well as on Instagram under Living Notes. Thanks for watching.